What's up guys, welcome to your 190th Android tutorial for the new Boston, where we're hopefully going to finish up this little activity here. Uh, maybe one more tutorial like I said, but, but what we're going to do now is within our onClick method, we're going to set up the text that we want to display. So we're just going to call this string, and we're going to call this uh, body because it's going to be the body of the text. And we're going to set this equal to whatever, so um, this is a message from Travis. Thanks for your support. Something like that, maybe. And then we're also going to set up a, a title. So we're going to say string and title. Set this equal to set this equal to Travis C. And uh, there we go. We have our title. And now what we need to do is we need to create a notification, and we need to tell it like which drawable object, you know, what the time is that we sent the notification, all that good stuff. So we're going to say notification call this n and we're gonna set this equal to a new notification and then we're gonna refer to our drawable object or that little icon that we set up I'm gonna say r dot drawable uh, dot lightning is uh, my reference your reference is probably different or then we're gonna say what the message of the notification is so we're gonna call that body uh, that text that we set up and lastly uh, we're gonna to refer to what time this notification was sent so we're gonna to refer to the system time um, so we're just going to say system current time in milliseconds and there we go uh, we have our notification set up and then we're going to just add you know what details we want to our notification um, we're going to set up the title and you know what intent we want it to open or pending intent I should say so we're just going to say n dot set latest event info uh, referring to the context we're going to say this uh, the, the title we're going to refer to our title text for the content text, we're again referring to uh, our body, so we're going to say body, and lastly our pending intent, which we call PI, or pending intent. Uh, so that's just going to set up our notification, you know, again, the body, the, the, I'm sorry, um, the title, the body, and the intent that we want it to open, and then we're also going to set up uh, basically how we want to notify the user. So we're going to say n.defaults, we're going to set this equal to notification class and then we have some options like the lights, the sound, vibration, um, all that good stuff. So we're going to choose the default all, which is basically the default sound and the default, or it will vibrate as well. We'll do both. So set that up. And, uh, and then also, since we're using the vibrate, we're going to have to go into uh, the, the New Boston manifest and add a vibrate permission. Again, you can just type this out or just go to the permissions and say add use permission um, and then uh, you know vibration or vibrate I should say and just add that permission to our to our manifest so our application won't crash and that's probably it for this tutorial um, I don't know exactly how much time we spent but uh, we'll finish it up in the la in the next tutorial because again we have to refer to our notification manager to handle some of the events that's going on and all that good stuff so we'll finish up this little activity in the next tutorial and I'll see you guys then hope you have a good one and catch you later